in Poland in the past few months. History has been progressing by leaps. The historic aspect of the moment was stressed also by President Jaruzelski, who said that someone may regard this gathering as a joke of history, but it would be more prudent to call it the logic of history, and above all, a grand historic experiment and a great chance for the nation. The significance of the occasion was also aptly described by the new Prime Minister Tadeusz Mazowiecki, who said the meeting was not just a courtesy gesture, but the effect of careful thought. Polish affairs can be effectively resolved, he said, only in unison with the President. In his speech, President Jaruzelski did not conceal the pitfalls and dangers facing the new government in its striving to bring the country out of the deep economic recession. He said he draws optimism from the feeling of hope in society and the growing conviction that this British experiment in politics will succeed. This historic chance cannot be wasted, President Jaruzelski said, and he believes the answer how to achieve that lies in the policy speech delivered in Parliament by Prime Minister Mazowiecki. The President fully shared the conviction of the new Prime Minister and his Cabinet colleagues that the key to the resolving of all issues lies in achieving a breakthrough in the economic sphere. Unpopular decisions, as the belt tightening is always unpopular, will have to come. The President and the Prime Minister are agreed on that also. The point is how to radically improve the effectiveness of action without exceeding the limits of public endurance of the costs of this health-improving exercise. For those observers of the Polish scene who may have harbored a doubt about the good intentions of the President should ponder the meaning of his statement at that meeting. Unacceptable and catastrophic would be held to the new government will say backed up even more forcefully by his appeal for all patriotic forces in the country to support the government in its bold search for the best solution. Equally significant was the President Jaruzelski's statement that unacceptable are also hopes that the forces in power in the country so far will be now obliterated from the political and social scene. An echoing of this stance was perceptible also in the pronouncements of the new government team. There is consensus that only a struggle with extremist trends, only national accord, gives the government, and that means Poland, the real chance of breaking out of the vicious circle of crisis, inability, and stagnation. A reminder that you are tuned to Radio Polonia in Warsaw. Look at the cultural scene in Poland. Hello and welcome to Focus from Rafałki Poszewski. And in Focus this week, Solidarity Isabella Cywińska becomes Poland's first woman to head the Ministry of Culture. The National Film Festival gets underway. The doors are its David Alcott open wide in Poland and plans of Warsaw Grand Theatre for the new season. At dawn one day, a KGB officer woke up Isabella Cibinska.